Hey, what's going on, YouTube? So, um, if you didn't understand the point that I was trying to make in the video previous to this one, um, basically the black woman's standard of beauty is the white woman, okay? And, um, because of the fact that the white woman, when you think about her skin tone, she is naturally light, and black women are dark, okay? Um, so it's almost like two opposites, you know? So I'm saying that to say that there's a lot of black women who feel like they are the opposite of what beauty is. Because, like I said, their standard of beauty is the white woman because the white man says so <laughs> all right so um you know for example i've noticed you know a lot of dark-skinned black women they tend to have this thing with flicking their weave and um that is that to me is a sign of a woman who does not love herself and her natural beauty um you know, this flicking the weave, uh, it really resembles the white woman, you know? And um, a lot of times it's not like the hair is in her eye or it's not like the hair is in her face. Um, it's just something that she does because um, it makes her feel more beautiful. It makes her feel like a white woman. You know, it's not enough to put the weave in, um, but to actually flick it and to always be fixing it and setting it in a certain way. Like it makes her feel like she's actually a white girl, you know, um, and this is definitely something that um, Chrissy and Rashida Strober need to address in their um, campaign. Uh, for the dark-skinned black woman. Um, you know, like I said, I'm not going to say that black men do not play a part. Uh, not all black men prefer dark-skinned black women. And uh, I don't see a problem with that because everyone has their own preferences. So I don't believe that is why black women feel like they are inferior. I don't believe it's because of black men. Um, I know just as many, if not more black men whose preference is dark skinned black women. But like I said, in the video previous, um, a lot of dark skinned black women do not value the opinion of black men. Okay. Uh, what is valuable to her is the white man and um, the mainstream media, okay? And uh, the white man controls the main mainstream media. So she's always going to be looking to um, be the white woman or be as beautiful as the white woman. Uh, and this... You know, I don't know how she'll be able to achieve this uh, because, you know, most women, their beauty comes from the fact that their men um, value it. You know, Indian, Chinese, uh, Chinese is not Chinese women are not the beauty of the white man, you know, or I should say Chinese women are not, uh, Asian women are not, uh, the beauty standard for white men. Okay. Every culture, their beauty standard is going to be their own women. You know, the problem is, you know, because of slavery and a lot of things, our women look to the white man to validate them. Okay. And a lot of them are stuck in this mainstream media and uh tv and all that shit i mean you don't think don't you think other women um 
what do you think other women think when they watch white women on TV and they watch these soap operas and all that stuff? I mean, they see them too, but their validation doesn't come from mainstream media, you know? And that's the problem with black women. They need to get their head out of the fucking box and um, start being realistic, you know? Their value should come from their own community and what their community um, says is beautiful, you know? Stop looking to the white man and to the white woman. Um, that's just some advice from a brother, but like I said, I think that Chrissy and Rashida Strober, since they're the dark skin activists for black women, they need to address this, you know, because I know a lot of black women ain't going to listen or take it from me. So I'm going to leave it at that and I'll catch you on the next one.